Hello YouTube, this is FSXAV, another great 3v3. Uh, starting out here, we have on the left, uh, this is the enemy side, we have Tess playing as Purple Protoss. Uh, that's me there saying no rush, because I absolutely hate it. Uh, uh, the, the leagues, they start to rush now, and it's it's just not fun when they rush. We have Wolfie playing as Yellow Pro uh, Terran. We have NS Time playing as Orange Terran, so it's Protoss, Terran, Terran. Again, almost mirrored on the same on the right side, we have me FSXAV playing as Red Protoss, Prodigy playing as uh, Baby Blue Terran, and then we have Bungo playing as Blue Terran down at bottom here. First off, uh, order of business, uh, cranking out those probes, good, good. Going down to uh, Terran here, the first thing he's going to do is block off his base. Uh, very good, uh, got that supply depot. Then they're going to build uh, the Terran uh, barracks, which is going to blo completely block off, and they're going to be able to train units. Followed by a tech lab, which will seal off the right side of their base, and that will allow them to uh, that will allow them to create units and enable ha basically have a door uh, in and out. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a good game. It was drawn out. It's about 40 minutes long. However, it reads like 43 minutes, 48 seconds. Blah blah blah. First pylon is already down here, as you guys can see. Then we have our s gateway. First gateway is going down. So uh, let's switch over to the enemy team here. Now we're going over to uh, Purple. He's just got his first pylon down. Um, I already have my pylon down. Um, and I already have my gateway already being whipped in. Yellow uh, Terran has his barracks down. Uh, and he's got his supply depot. Um, he's leaving his workers to the idle there. I would put him to work if I was him. Uh, he's got his refinery being built. And I believe he uh, has an orbital command coming in. There we go. Orbital command being built right there. So you can scout the map. Going down to orange here. We got a barracks going down. Um, no refinery yet. Uh, moving out, he's got two supply depots, and he's going to put a bunker here instead of a Terran uh, uh, barracks. Switch it back over to our team here. Um, Gary's already in. Whooping off that Zot. Uh, if we compare that to um, the other Protoss, he's just, he's just getting his gateway in. Um, he's got his uh, assimilator in, which uh, I've already got built as well. So, uh, going back down here, building my second gateway. Now, I could have done a four gate. I could have put down a... Um, a cybernetics core instead of uh, another gateway, but I decided uh, I'm going to do mostly ground units this game, and it wasn't very important to rush that uh, cybernetics core up. First of all, it goes to block off the gate. Um, this map especially, it's really important to block off your entrance, especially since there's two entrances on each, and this is a 3v3, so even if each army, yeah, your enemy team, even if they just produce three units each, they could all rush your base, and they would have a total of nine units, and they could pretty much crush your base. It's pretty important to block off your entrance. Uh, I managed by just fine, uh, just out of sheer luck, uh, I could base it on. I banked that on sheer luck that I was not going to get a tank, and sure enough, I didn't. And in the matter of fact, I actually had two, uh, I had two gateways at the time, so I thought I could baby croc crank out some units. With the third gateway being warped in there, um, we have Orange here, got a scout right here, as you can see, let me rotate the camera. Being chased, taking those two units off the edge. Taking those two units off of the supply, uh, again, harassment there, that's a good example. Good way to scout your enemy and take a few uh, workers off the line. Always a good idea to uh, do that. Anyways, moving back over, we got one factory going down. Engineering bay going down for future upgrades. Uh, Baby Blue here is doing really well. Uh, barracks going down. Two supply depots with a tech lab. Mirroring the same on the top, which has already been done, since the first expansion of the base. Um, this map, center usually has a central tendency to get uh, attacked first since it, since it is kind of um, inset towards the enemy base. Uh, especially aerial attacks, it's good to put the supply depot to make sure that Protoss isn't putting any void, pr uh, void prisms, uh, warp prisms in here and you're just going to start warping in units. Good to put the supply depot to have your line of sight. Uh, Reaper here taking the Zelnaga Watchtower as we're moving out. Another Reaper here gonna jump this wall, I believe. There we go. And he's gonna go uh, jump up here, grab this tower as well. Uh, another supply depot for a line of sight. Uh, my base is looking good. I got three gateways in. Bunch of zealots here. Uh, I'm gonna send this probe out to build my uh, proxy pylon here so I can keep an eye and line of sight over my uh, four inches of the base. Here we go. We got two Reapers here. Uh, Basically, we're just going to start harassing the supply line of yellow here, Wolfie. We're going to switch cameras here to Wolfie. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he's dealing with this attack. He's got a one Reaper. Uh, he's got one Marauder, and he's got a handful of Marines here. Purple Protoss doing good. He's got warp gate technology here already, and uh, he's got three warp gates plus a forge. He's going to be upgrading those units. Terran down here. Uh, 
a little bit slower than uh, what uh, bl uh, Blue is going, but he's moving along well. He's got his factory built. He's got his barracks down with a tech lab on the way. Another barracks over here. Uh, with a bunker in the back, um, he knows I'm playing his Protoss and he doesn't want any uh, warp prisms being a problem. Over here, I yet don't have warp gate technology, so I'm a bit behind. Uh, what uh, my uh, other Zer, uh, other hoops, <laughs> Protoss uh, enemy is. Anyways, I got two more warp gates going down here, which still be warped in the warp gates. Uh, that is, as soon as this update upgrade finishes here. So that probe is going to go ahead and uh, start that. One Stargate here previously built. I'm going to go ahead and crank out a couple void rays uh, necessary for defense and uh, attacking, of course. Research is complete. Warp crates going to go ahead and warp them in. They're going in there. Uh, very good. Uh, now I have the firepower I need to basically create an army. Uh, we got four... Uh, <laughs> We have former uh, Reapers sitting up here watching this tower. They're just chilling. Um, right here, we, go, we got going down a command, another command center for his expansion, and I believe a factory, two factories, a uh, couple starports go down here. One starport here. He's going to train a uh, one carrier, uh, or not carrier, a uh, one battle cruiser. Uh, after he builds that fusion core, uh, as it's being built down there, uh, armory here, fusion core being built here, uh, command center. Uh, no upgrades, no orbital command, or uh, in this case, uh, command center, or uh, our planetary fortress, my bad. <laughs> we got these three reapers here, they're scouting out the enemy base, let's switch over to their vision, let's see what they, they don't even see him there, they don't notice him here. Uh, I bet you they're going to come up into this area here and harass orange a bit. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Switching back over. Alright, where are those reapers? Okay, yeah, they're just going to, uh, they're just going to sit, yes, they do. They're going to just sit up here and they're just going to, um, harass the troops here uh, yeah marines is gonna start countering them and the reapers gotta get out of there they don't have the strength to fight since all of his uh, CVs off to attack these reapers since he doesn't have much defense and that is it for them yellow early attack here okay we got two marauders handful of marines they're gonna go attack take out the supply depot oh no the front door of his base is open oh boy could we have a countering army here uh, I believe I sent my units out uh, my zealots here and, and I got one void way ready to go uh, Yellow's moving in to tank his base. Uh, he's gonna go for his fusion core, but it's too late because this uh, battle cruiser is already on the way. Uh, sends out his uh, SCV, stops and protects him. Very good idea. Uh, although he stops his mineral income, uh, he does protect his units. Doesn't have to rebuild them. Lifting up his uh, command center, he's gonna place it over here, away from the concentration of firepower. Uh, uh, baby blue, pro uh, baby blue Terran guys his units, and he's gonna start supporting. This battle cruiser is almost done. My zealots are moving in. Voidway is on the way. He's gonna start focusing fire on the units. How uh, any bit of fire helps. This battle cruiser is right here. He is ready to fire. He's gonna start taking out, punishing defeats on these uh, uh, marauders and these uh, marines. Doesn't have any firepower to match this battle cruiser at the time. No response from that. Gonna go back to me. Uh, at the time, my base is very, very powerful. Um, yes. I'm uh, gonna switch back over. Um, at the time, they did a sensor sweep. Uh, this is what they saw. As you can see, uh, wow, they must have been pretty shocked when they seen this when they did their sensor sweep. So, um, going back to me. Uh, uh, moving back out, we got another voidway, I believe, coming on. A uh, bunch of zealots down here. I'm gonna work on my natural expansion down here now since my main is almost depleted. Three, three photon cannons, three more photon cannons up here. Natural base defense. I got a tool, I got four-way redundancy in my pylons here. Four-way redundancy. It's going to be very hard to stop my my warp gates from functioning if they do indeed attack my base unless they have a thousand void rays and it's going to be very hard to stop this attack uh, since I have four-way redundancy on the pylons for each of my void rays. Um, uh, there was a... There was a um, there was an attack there on my natural expansion moving out. Uh, Prodigy's moving his uh, command center after he spawns that this uh, test had his expansion appear. He's going to move out on that. I'm going to move out and attack out with my void rays. Uh, let's see what's going on in the center of the map. One Reaper sitting still at this uh, my watchtower. Uh, a bunch of my units are going to go ahead and move out. They're going to... Uh, I don't remember what happens, but let's see what happens. Let's see how this unfolds. I do believe that they attack this uh, expansion. If there is anything here, there wasn't. Okay, uh, so there are come my void rays. Void rays are going to move in, and they're going to go ahead and focus their firepower on this nexus up here. Uh, this is going to uh, cripple his, because I believe this is uh, his only expansion. So this is going to cripple his income. Uh, 
This is going to be 400 of his uh, resources that are going to be going to waste. And these Furbies are fully charged up. This Nexus is no match for their uh, prismatic beam. So, switching back here. Ah, we got a few stalkers being warped in by a warp prism. You can't see it there, but they're going ahead and start attacking my natural expansion. I get Sentra swooped here, no problem with that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for him, my zealots were already here prepared. They're going to go ahead and start taking out. No problem there, as the zealots do have a one uh, side blades upgrade, one ground attack uh, upgrade technology. Voidways coming in to attack by these vikings here, but uh, I'm going to turn them around and um, I start attacking. Uh, at the time, I didn't have control of them. I wasn't able to mac micro them in the position here. Uh, I do whoop in some stalkers, I believe, in the near area. There we go. There's some stalkers. They're going to go ahead and start taking out these Vikings. Got one pylon going down here, and I've been whooping robotics facilities to get my probe uh, or my observer out. Over here, my Verily, he's just sitting, watching over his base, uh, just kind of over protection mode. Baby Blue Terran is doing really well in this game. Uh, he has a lot going on. Uh, he has a lot of expansions. Two factories, battle, uh, this is a battle cruiser from him. Two, uh, barracks, three, uh, four barracks total. Um, just cranking out units. Supply is looking really good. Let me check the income. Uh, we do have 600 minerals a minute, and I'm topping out, uh, at 740, 700, uh, minerals a minute. Orange is taking the lead. Orange Terran is taking the lead at around 800 minerals a minute. Looking good for their front stem. Let's switch back over to the other side here. We have Orange Terran down here. He's got two Stargates, uh, Starports, <laughs> uh, Command Center here. Factory, two barracks. I believe he has another barracks around here somewhere. No, I might have mistaken that. Yellow here has got his expansion behind his base. Uh, got one Thor here. Whole mass of units up here. Handful of Marauders, handful of Marines, uh, plus that one Thor. Bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Vikings up here. They're going to be no problem for my Void Race. Uh, going over to Purple uh, Protoss, excuse me. Got that Dark Shrine built. Uh, he's going to have those Dark Templars. Void Prism. He's going to load them up. He's already got an Observer. I wonder where he puts his Observer. One Warp Gate. Uh, I believe he's got four Warp Gates. Um, comparison to my total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and my six Warp Gates, which I can pretty much queue up an army. Uh, <laughs> wherever I need to. Bunch of zealots here are going to start taking out these rocks. Uh, there's a siege tank sitting up here which I'll deal with him. Um, they all have charge ability so that we have a little charge and close the distance pretty quick on the siege tank. Uh, these rocks, uh, they, they are being attacked. My uh, zealots do have the one upgrade. Uh, I got my forge here. I believe I uh, upsurged protest shields next. Moving back over here, uh, spot this. Uh, or, uh, planetary fortress going down here. Natural expansion. Very good, very good. Oh whew, man, this is a long game. Alright, uh, I'm going to warp in the pylon so I can warp in units using warp in technology. These zealots are going to move up on the siege tank. They're going to close the distance. They got charged. This siege tank, say bye bye and good night. No more Zelmega Watchtower for Terran. Alrighty. Uh, I believe this planetary fortress does come under attack, but since it's on an island, all you have to do to protect it is simply put up these uh, missile turrets, and uh, if you want to, you can put up a sensor tower. Uh, it's a totally up to you. Uh, going back over to Terran here, uh, not much going on, uh, we have a bunch of units up here, dropship going down, a bunch of siege tanks, a sensor tower, I'll watch over that base, another sensor tower down here, gonna watch over this southern half of the island here, uh, again, this reaper just kinda sits here the whole game watching his only watch tower, that's very good, uh, natural expansion here, high yield expansion going down here, in a bit, we'll have that, this battle cruiser is gonna sit idle over the zealots here, uh, that nexus is going down, very good, uh, these zealots here, just sitting idle. Not much going on here. Bunch of pylons here, so I prevent from be being supply blocked. Uh, researching level 2 attack. Another void rate coming out. Bunch of, uh, bunch of stalkers up here. Bunch of probes, uh, moving them to my expansion here. And then I believe, here we go, got the nexus in for my uh, high yield expansion. Gonna warp into his uh, stalkers here. Uh, Terran's got a bunch of marines here, and pretty much it just sits like this for the rest of, for uh, a couple minutes of the game since, uh, most of the time we're just teching, uh, for the rest of this game. Gonna switch over to the enemy side here, and let's see what they're up to. Whoops. Alrighty, orange Terran. Two siege tanks sitting here. Got Stargate, two ravens coming out. Let's switch to this Stargate.